Hey everybody, it's Steven with Unique Apps. Today I have a brand new app video review of Crossy Road by Hipster Whale. So we're gonna go ahead and start that up. As you can see, it is a uh, more 8-bit style uh, Minecraft type of uh, look um, game. But before we get started, I do wanna jump into uh, some of the settings here that we can get into before gameplay. Um, this game has a ton of different characters that you can use. I mean, literally there's tons. I think I have access to three right now, but there are a ton, um, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and use the default one, which is the chicken, and go ahead and get started here. Um, there is another settings menu that I can't get to right this second but I will show you that as soon as uh, we can access it after we play. So the object of the game is to get across the roads, um, past the trains, um, over the little lakes, um, and try to basically not get hit by anything, as you can see, like I just did. Um, so the object of the game, like I said, is to get by all the obstacles. Um, this is an endless game, but they do sort of have, oh, they do sort of have um, a little um, another obstacle that's kind of hidden in where the screen is actually moving um, that you can't really tell, but I will show you what happens if you don't move fast enough with the screen. Let's just say um, there were so many cars I couldn't go, I couldn't go. About right here you'll see the eagle come and swoop me down and take me away. That's kind of like hey, you're not moving fast enough, um, you lose. Because they're not going to let you stand there all day um, to try to get across the road. So as you can see, every time you tap on the screen, sort of like um, Flappy Bird, you get a point. So um, right now I'm on 22. I think my highest score is right, up, right under 70. Might be like... Uh, there you go 68 so right now is the only time where these buttons down here are actually displayed and I can go ahead and show you the different uh, settings they have so as you can see there's tons of different languages we can do I'm not going to change it for fear that I won't remember how to get back you restore your purchases there's a credit screen you, there's a conserved battery um, function just in case you know I think that kind of uh, may lower the graphics quality or something. I'm not quite sure what exactly that does. Mute the sound and also turn off the shadows. And the shadows, as you can see, like on the tree there, um, all those shadows, those sometimes mess me up when I'm trying to um, run across the road. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and change it actually to the wombat. Uh, which is another character I want, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. The Wombat, when I change to the Wombat, it actually changes the background to a desert. I don't know how many different backgrounds there are, um, but of course it just fell in the water. I don't know how many backgrounds there are, um, but I would imagine that each of the different characters, um, not all of them have separate backgrounds, but I think it would bring them to the environment that we're probably used to uh, seeing something like that in. Uh, I had to jump right there. You see there's a rapid right there. If you stay on that log too long, um, you will hit that rapid and I'll show you exactly what happens when that when you do that if I can get to a, uh, a little river really quick. I'll show you kind of what happens. So if you stay on, that rapid will actually take you away. So, and that's pretty much like starting over the game. But this is an endless gameplay. The screen does move. It's kind of a forced, um, a forced thing. You can jump sideways by swiping that way or swiping this way. You can also jump back, but as you can see, I took a little too long showing you that. Um, if you do jump out into traffic, and I'll show you, if you do jump out into traffic and then need to jump back, you can swipe backwards. Um, but, you know, I, I typically just try to tap on the screen and go forward because sometimes the swiping um, will pick up 
a swipe forward when you meant to swipe left because I tend to swipe like that instead of forward or straight to the side. Um, as you can see, there's a free gift on the screen. This is basically how you get coins. Um, as you can see, I got 95 coins for a total of 158. Um, and now it says I can win a prize, which brings up this gumball machine. This gumball machine costs 100 coins every single time you do it. So I'll show you what happens. This is pretty much the way to get new characters. And as you can see, I have a box and a new character. I have the Pew Die Pug. I don't know quite where they get those uh, those names from, but I'll go ahead and play this guy uh, right away. As you can see, this is sort of like the original background. So not all of them will have brand new backgrounds, but um, I know some of them will. So I'm doing pretty good so far. Let's see if I can keep it up here. Um, I need to pick up the pace a little bit. Oh, there we go. So of course you got the infamous rate us screen. Um, tells me when my next free gift is and how many coins I need to get another uh, character because each character is 100 points um, to pull the lever on the gumball machine. So I have 58 plus 42, that's 100. So it's kind of telling me what I have going on there. Um, my next free gift, which is the coins, um, I would actually get, it looks like, I think that's one hour, um, because I've gotten so many coins so far, just kind of learning how to play the game. Up here, you'll see my last score was 34. My current top score is 68, which, um, you know, I got while I was doing the video review, so um, I could probably do a little better without um, the need of talking through the review. Um, but that's, oh, there we go. Um, but that's just how it is. As you can see, it did take a picture. Um, I had some issues with the picture after I, uh, you can actually go and see that picture. And that's, that's my little flattened dog and you could save it and share it and whatnot. But when I did click save image, um, the game did get laggy the first time. I don't want to really do that right now because I don't want to screw it up again. Um, but these images are savable. I don't, I don't even know if the first one I did actually saved, but um, I just had to uh, totally close the app and redo it. So I don't really want to uh, have to do that again in the middle of a review. But I'm gonna play it one more time. I'm actually gonna switch my character to, uh, I think his name is Old Man Ben. And basically this was the third character, Crazy Old Ben, sorry. This is the third character that I won. And uh, he uses the default background as well. Um, and he doesn't, it, no one moves any quicker really. I think the, uh, the background is just kind of, or the characters is just kind of, uh, uh, a different element to the game. I don't think any of the characters do anything differently besides the, the sounds they make. Um, as you can hear, he, he kind of makes some funny sounds as, uh, they would consider an old man to do, but... Anywho, that's uh, just another character that I have, and uh, just wanted to show you that. Overall, I think the graphics are really good for an 8-bit game. I like the style of the game. Um, the scoring, like I said, is just like Flappy Bird. One tap on the screen equals one point. So that's how those rack up on top. But uh, as you can see, great colors, great gameplay. I think... Uh, I think this one will be uh, staying on my phone for a little bit. I try not to uh, get sucked into these games, but I'm not going to lie. I've played this game probably a good 50 to 100 times already, and uh, it's pretty fun. So go check out Crossy Road on the App Store. It's number 10 today uh, as of right now that, you know, those things do change pretty rapidly, but uh, it is number 10. It's by Hipster Whale and uh, a great overall game. So check it out on the App Store, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend, and see you soon.